Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm the shop owner at Possum Crochet. Today I wanted to do a quick screencast showing you how I create my shop images with a tool called Canva. I really like it because it's free. <laughs> there is a paid version, but you know, the version I use is just the, the basic free version. Um, I find it pretty easy to use. It's all drag and drop um, and it's all online. So it stores your stuff for you and you can sign in from any computer and access it, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's why I like it. There are other programs you can do this with too, but you know, this is just the one I use. Um, now, why would you use this tool? Why would we bother with all this stuff? Um, well, I, as a shop owner, you, you obviously need images for your shop. We need banners, we need icons. You know, I'm, I'm made mine in, in Canva. Um, I also made images like these here that say that this is a crochet pattern, not the finished product. So you can see, you know, I wanted people to know this is a digital file, not you know, the item. <clears throat> uh, another thing I use it for is um, these kind of like side by side collages with text at the bottom. And these kind of collages where you've got like a little grid of color options, basically any variations or things that you think customers might want or need to know. Uh, I also use it for my shipping times. Uh, around Christmas and Halloween, I was putting up notices to you know check our shop for the um, shipping deadlines and express shipping options. So those are a couple examples. You can also use it for social media and just about anything else. You know, anywhere you need to put up an image. Um, and really, I should note it's not a photo editor. Like if you wanted to edit this photo and make me make it more colorful, make it brighter, make it crop it or do something like that, you know, Canva probably isn't your best bet. Canva is more for making images or um, making text-based images or adding some kind of icons. It's like more of a design tool and less of an editing tool. But it is a really powerful design tool. So um, that's why I'm wanting to show you this today. So getting right into the good stuff, uh, I'm gonna pull you back over to Canva. When you come in here, you're gonna get an option to sign up for an account. You do have to sign up for a free account in order to actually use the tool. Um, but once you do, you'll be taken to this screen here, minus all of my lovely creations here. I told you I love it. I, I use it for everything. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, getting back on track here. When you sign in, you're going to see this blue bar at the top. Um, this is your area where you get to create your items. And when you create them, they're stored here for later. So if you want to go back in and copy or edit or reuse or re-download any of your products or your pictures, rather, um, you can. This area on the left, you're probably not going to have to worry about it at all as a free member. You know, there's some cool tools over here, but I'm not going to go into it right now because, again, we're just really focusing on what you need to get started. So before you get started, what do you need to do? Well, like I said, you have to get the account, you have to sign in, and then you should also know what you want to post and where you want to post it. And what I mean by that is if I want to create, say, a Facebook post, then I would use this option because it's kind of square and they've already got the dimensions ready. If I wanted to do um, an Instagram post, I would use this as a social media one because it's already square, like Instagram wants. If I wanted to do an Etsy banner, I would go into more. And they actually have way down here at the bottom somewhere. Etsy shop icon, Etsy shop cover, Facebook banners, you know, just about anything that you want. And if you don't see what the size you need, you can always enter it there. For today's purposes, I'm just going to use the Facebook post option and we're gonna create a sample, say order by uh, image uh, for Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day is coming up right now. Um, and I found that the Facebook post size actually works pretty well for Etsy. I think this was a social media one, but this one I think was the, is it this one? I don't remember. One of these I used the Facebook post on. So I use that one a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're just going to select the Facebook post option. And you're going to see it comes up to just this blank screen, which looks a little bit intimidating. <laughs> it always does. Uh, you can come into this left panel that loads up with all your layouts and you can select one of the ones that Canva gives you. You know, they do have ideas and pre-made templates for you. So um, just to warn you, there are ones that say free. And the ones that don't say free have a little price tag over them. Those are ones that if you want to use them, 
they're either paid or you can download like a watermarked sample on it. So if you want to, we could go into here and we could say, select this design. And we could say, what do we want to say? We want to say Valentine's Day shipping deadline, right? So we could do like 2018, oops, Valentine's Day order deadline. And maybe we want to say February 7th, 2008. <laughs> Not 2019. And then maybe we don't need this one. So we can just click this little delete option up here and get rid of it. So basically, it's click, edit, done. If you want something very, very simple, you can do something like that. And you don't have to use one of these free templates. You might not like this. You might want something more festive. You might want something with your brand on it. You know, those are all possibilities too. But this is the fastest, easiest way to just throw something out there. Um, now let's say we want to customize this. Let's say we want to make this our own. We want to put some of our branding out there. Uh, if you have shop images or other images on your computer that you want to use, you can go to the uploads button on the left side. We were just in layouts, just so you know. I'm going to go ahead and actually start from scratch. I'm going to actually, yeah, let's go ahead and empty this out. I'm just going to delete all these little things here. Probably select them in bulk, but there you go. So we're going to start with a clean slate this time around. We're not going to use the layouts. We were here. We did select this one. We just went in and edited it. But now I'm going to show you how we can kind of create our own, you know, from nothing. So in uploads, you have the option to upload images from your computer or something you've gotten from Facebook or uh, different locations around the web. Then you can browse your computer and just find any image you want. Now, I've already got a bunch up here, so I'm just going to plop one in here. <laughs> Why not? It's a Tuesday. We all need a laugh, right? So let's put this little guy over here. And let's say we want to, let's see, don't have another image in here. I can just pop them there real quick. Now let's say we want to add our own text in there. We want to say, again, the shipping deadline information. We could go and over to the text button. I did that a little fast. Let me slow down. We're going to go over to text, and then we can choose either pre-made templates like we did before. If you click on one, it just plops it in here, and you can drag it around. You can edit the text. You can say, again, 2018 Valentine's Day, yada, yada, yada. And you can change the color. That's what this little button is here. You can change the size. And change the font, you know, all these different things. So you can, again, just like before, we can ch choose one of their pre made ones. I'm going to get rid of that. Or we can enter our own. Just click on it, drag it to where we want it. And again, we can change the font, anything we want change the color, the size, whatever. And then you just click here, get rid of that, and then start typing. You can drag it over here. Maybe you like that, but you want something behind it to kind of get your attention. You know what I'm saying? Like something like white so it doesn't Come over to this corner. That's what the elements are for. This is a really helpful area to be if you're designing something from scratch on your own. Elements is a place where you can get um, either clip art or um, line drawings or all kinds of different things. Um, in this case, let's say we wanted like a little circle behind here or something, so it you know this corner seems smoother. We can go into shapes. We can grab a circle. It looks ugly, doesn't it? <laughs> That's okay. We just resize it down. 
let's say we want it to be right there, we change the color, and now it's white, but it's hidden in our text, right? So if you want to move it so that the text is above this, we're going to go to Arrange, click Back, and suddenly our circle is white and our text shows up. So there's that. If you want, you can use this button over here to change the transparency and let some of the background show through. Um, maybe you want to add some little images or some borders or some little you know, hearts or something on here because it's a Valentine's Day thing. You can either go back to elements and then go search through either the shapes or the icons or if you don't know where to find it, you just go to the search bar and you can see it says photos, illustrations are all. You can search for whatever you want. And search for hearts. And note, some of these again are free and some of these are paid. <coughs> I usually go, excuse my animals here, <laughs> I usually go with the free ones and put them in here. A lot of them you can change the color to by going to this option. Any one that they allow you to change the color on will have that button there. And you can drag this around just like the other information. You can rotate it. Some of their free icons actually have more than one color you can change. Like this one has white and pink, and you can change it that way. So there's lots of different options here. If you ever do have an image that didn't quite turn out just right, there are options to crop flip and filter them. And filter is just kind of like Instagram, you know, they have these pre-made filters or you can adjust the brightness and the contrast on your own, you know, to change things around. It's just to show you that does work. What else can we show you? Ah, backgrounds. You can choose to put a background color or um, a background um, pattern behind any of your images. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff on here so I can show you what they do. Go ahead and delete these out. You can either click on a design or a color. So here's a color, there's a design. And then you can either add images in over top of this, add text in over top of this. You can do just about anything you want. So again, just going with our same theme. Let's say we like this one. We want it a bit bigger. Drag the corners. Again, you can do the same thing, the 2018 Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah. Now let's say you wanted to put maybe a picture grid down here below this. I was telling you I'd done that for some of these over here. With this one, the easiest way to do it, well, let me show you. There's two different ways. I guess I'll show you both of them real quick. We have time. One way to do it is by going into elements and going to frames. Frames are kind of preset little um, options here that you can drag and drop photos into. I'm going to put one weird looking one over here so you can see what it is. But they have some that have like four grids. Here, we'll do that one instead. This one's got four different sliders. Now, you can't really customize this one very much. You can't really do anything other than, you know, drag it and to resize it or to rotate it. But I'll show you why it's super easy. Let me go back over to my uploads now, which is where I have my photos. Let's say I want to, you know, drop in images. Whoops, he didn't quite land inside there. You got to really kind of hover it over there until it fits in. So you can just drop in photos and you've magically created a four by four grid. Super easy. And if one of your images, like say this one, 
isn't fitting right, you can go into crop, drag it down, hit OK, and then you have repositioned it. It's just a matter of going to clicking on it, going to crop, dragging it, and hitting OK until you get it where you like. That's one way of creating these little grids. Now, if you, I'm gonna go ahead and empty our screen again here. If you don't like that option, there is, whoops, I went to that. Let's get out of frames. There's a grid option. And the grid option lets you make collages. Let's say we want to do, again, something like one of these. We can go to something like this. We would throw in our photo here. And then we put the others in the corners. And it's that easy. You can resize this just like the others. Maybe you want it like that size. And then you can have your text over here. Again, you can just get creative and fill this space up as you see fit. You can put your text on top of your images. There's just so many options. <laughs> you can get lost playing around in here. I think, oh, there's one other way to do this little uh, collage, and I was going to show you that. Now, the two I just showed you were going to layout, no, sorry, elements going to either grids, which lets you drag and drop a photo in, or frames, which lets you drag and drop a photo in as well, but usually they're a bit more decorative. You got some fancier stuff here. The final way to do it is to just manually drag and drop your images in. Oops, I'm gonna get rid of this so we have room. You can manually drag and drop your images in like this. Just drag one over, resize it, drop it in, drag one over, resize it, and drop it in. The nice thing is, I don't know if you can see that when I drag, but you can see it puts lines there so it knows if they're the same height. It makes your job super easy. There we go. All right, it just lined them up for me. Uh, they also show you, usually, <laughs> it's not doing it for me now that I say, oh, there it is. Yep, it shows you the middle of the, the page. So if you want them lined up perfectly in the middle, it will help you do that too. So, We've covered a whole lot of stuff. Um, I hope this kind of makes sense. It's kind of a crash course in Canva, um, but you can do a lot of cool things with it. You know, if you have a PDF download, this is a crochet pattern for these cat bows. I might write cat bow crochet pattern, drop in my PDF image and done. Um, you know, I created some of my own images and icons. We can plop these in here, write text on them. You know, you can do all kinds of things. I feel like I'm kind of rambling now, but I wanted to give you guys as thorough as possible of an uh, overview on how to create different things using Canva because it really is a great tool. And once you start playing around with it, it really isn't as difficult as it sounds. So that is the basics for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to go make sure the cat gets out of the dog's bed. <laughs> And you guys have a great day. Yeah.